Hey guys, so uh, I had a friend ask me how I do my uh, sorting and culling and all that stuff in Lightroom and so I thought I'd do a quick tutorial on what I do. So basically I'll import all my images um, and it's in grid view usually and then you can uh, select an image and push spacebar or um, click on the single view uh, loop view uh, button. Um, but I'll go through basically if you want to be in the library module because if you're in the develop one It tries to load all your settings on the side with each image this way it works a little bit faster So I'll just go through and two star everything that way I can go back through and either three star it Or if I don't feel like I want it right then I can uh, one star it which takes it out of my current set of selections but it doesn't throw it back into the pool of images so I can still go back and find it if I thought I might like it again. So I just two star stuff. Then um, I go over to the mod or the filter uh, menu over here. Usually sometimes for me I have to click it and it turns it on and then uh, it'll select the whatever star I've clicked but this one seems to have just clicked whichever star I'm at probably because I've done this tutorial a couple of times. But uh, so I'll go through and I'll start with my two stars. Um, right now it's on a setting of two stars and higher. Um, if you want to change that, you can click this uh, rating icon here and just have it equal to two stars. So that this way it's just two stars and uh, that's all. Um, but I like it set on two stars and higher because um, usually I'm starting and just kind of going up. But I've uh, already done this group of pictures and retouched them and delivered them to the client. So there's a few in here that's already uh, done. So um, I set it equal to or greater than uh, two stars and then I have everything selected but actually let's for this tutorial go back down to equal to we'll just take these uh, seven photos um, and let's say we like these and these are what we want to use so my friend also asked me how I do uh, batch editing so if I, uh, I want to do these uh, few here um, since they're all similar you can uh, select them all by holding down shift and then clicking the first one and the last one or you can select individual ones by holding down command and uh, either taking stuff out or reselecting again um, and that'll select just individual ones not in a consecutive order so let's say we want to do all these ones here we'll go into the uh, develop module and you don't have to have them selected at first I just happen to have them for this tutorial um, and to batch edit Basically, if you want to change one, you want to do it for uh, stuff that's similar. So if you're like at a wedding or if you're shooting uh, family portraits or something and you go from outdoors to indoors, the batch edit's not going to work on every photo you select. It's usually just under the same lighting conditions and things like that. So, you know, we'll just, you know, maybe make this darker. We'll uh, change the uh, color temperature a little bit. Uh, maybe we'll add some sharpening or something. Uh, just to do some random stuff and then we will we'll just do a vignette so now you can see down here that this one is uh, all edited and we want to apply all this to the to the next uh, four of them so uh, this one is what they call the most selected because you can see a couple different color tones in the in the selection of them this one is the most bright color tone this one is a little bit hazier and this one is gray which means this is the most selected these are secondary selected and these ones are not selected at all uh, so we want to go hit our sync and we want to apply um, for this one we can just do uh, check all because um, we don't care uh, we're not not wanting certain uh, options to be applied to them all so let's say we like the sharpening on just this one but we don't feel like it'll fit for the rest of them but the other ones will we can just select individual things so we can um, possibly turn off sharpening uh, where is sharpening right here so if we don't want sharpening select uh, applied to all the rest of these images we can turn that off but for this tutorial we're just going to keep them all selected check them all and then you just hit synchronize and you can watch down here it applies it to all of them just in a matter of seconds and so as you go through them, um, you can see that all of them have the vignette and sharpening and darker 
color tone. So that's kind of a quick uh, tutorial on um, a little bit of culling and batch editing. Um, if you guys have any questions or anything, leave them in the comments field and I will do my best to answer them. And if you guys do have more questions on Lightroom, leave those in the comments and I will do uh, more tutorials on uh, questions you'd like to have answered. So thanks you guys for watching.